So hi, uh, beekeepers all around the world. Um, we're going to just run you through our very humble um, honey extraction uh, setup here. Uh, we have a um, certified honey kitchen, um, nothing fancy or complicated. And we're going to show you today uh, our first honey extraction of the year. I'm going to turn the camera around and now so you can watch my husband who has already taken the wax cappings off the frames and you're going to see us put it through uh, the extractor and make our first extraction so just excuse me while I turn the phone around and this is let me just show you what we've got here um, this looks like two boxes of uh, decapped honey frames let me just show you here very beautiful looking um, dripping frames ready to rock and roll um, this is our 12 frame extractor ten. is it 10 frames ten. sorry 10 frame extractor this this is how the uh, frames look when they come out so hang on let me just go a bit closer so you can see here it does a great job very very nice little bit left there really really nice looking frame uh, often we have to do a little test run so this is how it goes that's a heavy one that's a heavy one there's some very very loaded up frames so this honey here is uh, from the forest it's and, a mixture of yep. um, Willow herb, uh, blueberry, lingon berry, um, raspberry, and all the little yellow and blue and white you know, flowers from the forest floor. So this is a, a real mix, and we never really know the it's, actual. Uh, what would you say? How it's going to? I mean, that, yeah. look at that. That's a difference. That honey there. It's going to be different to some other honey. Yeah. Every every year the honey is different. There's another frame coming up. We'll never know for sure the exact composition, and that makes the crystallization process vary also uh, as to how fast it will crystallize or not. So you can see them going okay. in there. Switch it on. This might get a bit noisy now, so just bear with us. It, the sound can be a little bit high pitched sometimes. So here we go. We have an automatic uh, slunger, so have you got it basically set up for this? It's set yeah. up, yes. Th you this, can see it's starting to rotate. Th this honey usually comes out very fast. This comes out incredibly fast. Um, um, this is the first honey of the year. And here we go. And what you can see here is this, this these pieces here are the wax cappings coming off. And this system here has two sets of filters. Um, a slightly uh, coarse filter and then down here a finer filter so that when it comes through it's uh, very nicely um, clear it will still have um, bits very very fine bits of wax in it and then it has to go sit in a tank settling tank. a settling tank for the uh, finer bits of wax to come up to yeah, to float to the surface. And you can see here these bits here. This is very natural. This is just what comes out with the honey as it's being extracted. You will have heard a change in sound there as the um, as the unit changed direction because it, of course, needs to extract honey from both sides. Do you want me to... That's it. And you'll hear again the sound is changing. It, change, it can change speed and change sides. It does that three cycles, isn't it? Yeah. The first cycle it does slowly from one side, the second cycle it does full speed as you set it from the other side, and the third cycle it does the original side, but faster. 
what you get here is a slight wiggle as the uh, weight balance can be off slightly. That's, uh, that's just na natural. Okay. All right, everybody. Thank you so much, and thank you to Peter. Bye-bye. <laughs>